This one is stopped, has not any, any reason assigned yet, and two machines are running. So right here, imagine now you have 100 machines. Michael, it's good to see you. Tony, what a great introduction. She mentioned something that I think important to clarify to the audience right there. TAMS, T-A-M-S is an acronym. What does TAMS stand for and what does the company do? TAMS stands for True Analytics Manufacturing Solutions. We are, as Tony mentioned, the um, IoT partner for Steric. We are providing them with a software solution that helps the customer to push their productivity even more. As you know, Steric has excellent machines where you really can put some productivity on your shop floor. So we are helping to even further increase the customer's productivity. What does the relationship with Starag mean to Tams? And the reason I bring that up is because Starag is, is this global brand that's known for its excellence and precisions. And I know a friend of ours, a guy named John, who is also known for his excellence and precision. And I know your software is important in the relationship. So what does that relationship mean to you as well? We are very proud to be the partner of Steric USA. I mean, this is a world known company. We are a small company, but they are good in what they are doing, which is machines. We are good in what we are doing, which is software. So to merge this, I think created this perfect partnership. Very well said. And there's, as we some would say, an elephant in the room with that big TV <laughs> behind you, but it's actually the software in the room and not That's so right. much an elephant. Would you mind kind of describing what we're looking at on this TV screen behind us? Sure. So what you're seeing here is um, the machines that we have in the showroom, actually. So we came in this morning, we connected the machines, and now you can see Steric has four machines in the showroom. One is now stopped because they um, apparently changed the tooling, as you can see. This one is stopped, has not any, any reason assigned yet, and two machines are running. So right here, imagine now you have 100 machines. You can see on one screen the situation of your shop floor. Now we know this. This is well known from regular machine monitoring software, but we're going to also talk about how we really help the customer as, as well as their customers, of course, to not only see how they are doing, but actually how they can improve their productivity and improve their utilization. So uh, what I'm gathering, even though I heard you say it, the audience heard you say it, just to reiterate, is this importance of connectivity. And I know as we continue to grow with TAMS, you have some really exciting technology coming out in the future and, and being a part of the connectivity of all machines. Would you mind talking about the connectivity and what the future looks like at TAMS as well? Yes, Tony. So what, what we are realizing is connecting machine is not easy. There, as you know, there's many different machines. We have Steric, we have other machine tool maker that we don't have to talk about right now but they all have different controllers. Some of them have so old machines that they don't even have a controller. So what we have, we have a solution now, works for Siemens, works for, for Nook. We, we continue to go through all the controller. You plug it in the machine, you plug it on the network and you're ready to go. That's how we were able to do it here in just this morning. You know? So, and then in the end, we're gonna have a device that we're gonna introduce that doesn't even need any electric poles. So any mechanical device we can monitor with, with our technology just by attaching it to the machine. Michael, as we close this conversation out, I'm gonna ask you one more hard question, and maybe it's not hard for you, maybe it's super simple, but from an audience's perspective, we have to be honest and go, there's a, a lot of choices out there for machine monitoring, and a lot of people have kind of been put into situations where they weren't satisfied with what they received and it, it, maybe they weren't getting the information they wanted or maybe it was too much work on their end to get the information they wanted but it existed now let's quickly talk to the audience to go look we're tams this is what we do this is where we stand out this is why you might want to give us a shot this is why you might want to give us a look so kind of solidify tams's position in the manufacturing market right now with someone watching goes I gotta go to the website, I gotta give those guys a call. There's something different that resonated with me that's gonna make my machine shop better. Okay, Tony, it's fair to say that there are a lot of good products out there. Now, we don't wanna say that the competition has not a good product, but what we are trying to do is 
since we are all not programmers that came to the machine shop floor, we are actually people that worked in the, in the environment of, of the shop floor and, and some of us became programmers, not me. So that helps us to understand, I think, understand better what the customer really needs. So this is communication tools inside the software. We analyze every single tool. Because if you go to, your, to the operator and says, why are you not running your machine faster? What is he supposed to say, right? <laughs> but if you tell them you are a 50 millimeter face mill, I noticed it runs twice as long as it should. Then you can talk to him. You can build a team in our, our software and solve that problem together. That's probably summarized. I think that's a good summary. And if somebody wanted to find you, what's the website? The website is tams.ai. Tams.ai, give them a look. See what the future of your machine shop can look like by understanding truly what's going on behind all the mechanics of this machine and utilizing those longer cycles, those longer cutting tools and figure out how to reduce it, make more money, free up more time, get more jobs and become more flexible, remove the tribal knowledge that's there, be a part of TAM, see if that works for you. Michael, thank you so much for your time. And uh, Tony, thanks for the amazing introduction. I've never been so graciously welcomed before. <laughs> thank you all for watching. We know how important time can be and valuable time is, and we appreciate you sharing a pinch of it with us.